James from the Fit RV. I'm here at the Tampa RV Super Show with Nick Larios, and we are standing in front of this thing, which calls itself a Winnebago Adventure Wagon. Yep. Is it a Winnebago? Is it an Adventure Wagon? Great what? question. So what we saw was a great opportunity to partner up with Adventure Wagon. Okay. Um, they're a company based out of Portland, Oregon, and actually they are pretty much a DIY or a conversion van. So we okay. saw a great opportunity to um, add it in our product line and uh, give some more opportunities for our customers. Okay, so it's like a, is it like a kit? How does it, how does that do, does it work? Yeah, great. So it's a modularity, versatility, right? So being able as a customer to create your own floor plan. So basically what we get, we acquired a, quite a few kits um, from Adventure Wagon. So it comes with, you know, uh, furniture, bags, and just to name a few. And then of course, like some insulation. So we add it all throughout the coach and we can walk through it and show you where that's all at. Okay, so so you mentioned insulation. Go ahead and what kind of insulation? Have so we there's got? actually three layers of insulation. So you have a reflective uh, reflective layer like your thin slit that you would okay. find. Um, you'll have like a sort of a bat insulation as well. And then there's also another layer of insulation for sound deadening um, for the inside of the coach as well. Okay, so that's like a big head start. So if, yeah. this is, I guess this is geared towards someone who might be thinking about doing a self build. Yeah. And then, but you've given them kind of a head start and yeah. the modules that are in here, are these standard modules? Yeah, so what we're gonna see today is everything that's in the coach is gonna be standard. Um, so, you know, from the bed to the bags, um, to the eco flow that's currently in there. So yeah, we'll go ahead and build out for their customers and then we can give it to our customers so they can build their own floor plans. All right, so, so the EcoFlow, now what's that exactly? So EcoFlow is basically a large battery bank. So if you think of like a Jackery, uh, okay. like a smaller ones, but you know, this is actually a 3.6 kilowatt big generator, right. technically, lithium battery. So basically, if you want to plug in your uh, air, uh, uh, air conditioner, or if you bought a small portable one, or if you want to have a, um, a Dometic refrigerator, that's another thing. Or maybe if this customer is probably like a plumber or you know have a trade um, okay. for a profession, they could be able to plug in their power tools and stuff like that as well. Oh, okay. And now, since you mentioned the wire, that's a separate unit that can move around. Yep. So there's no wiring that's done necessarily to the van, except Correct. it looks like a few lights, yep. right? Yep, and those lights are just basically ran off of the chassis battery itself. Um, okay. They're all wired directly and also a max air vent in there. So it's just to kind of get some ventilation. So there's no true um, coach battery. Okay. There's no true like generator on board. Everything is ran off the 12 volt system from the chassis battery and then anything else um, auxiliary will go off of that um, EcoFlow. Cool. Now, does this technically count as an RV, like for insurance purposes? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So what we saw customers, you know, if you think about it, it's really tough to find, um, you know, first you got to find a van. Right. right. If you want to DIY it, right? Got to find the van. Got to buy the van. Then you want to buy all the kits. And then, you, of course, the hardest thing is that you, you got to find somebody who's going to do it or going to be able to right. install it for you. You know, usually wait lists are about six, eight, maybe a year out yeah, yeah, for, yeah. to get that build. So that's another thing, another hurdle if you want to DIY your own van. Um, but since this is RVIA certified, um, okay. if you want to go to your insurance uh, provider, Allstate, whoever that is, um, basically they see it's a camp, uh, Class B camper van, get your insurance today. Rather than you know the DIYer van, you have to go through multiple steps. And it's kind of an a hassle. In yeah, there you got to do an inspection. And it's just it's a, more of a hassle. So what we did is let's just make it easy for our customers. We'll make it an easy button. Give them the platform, and then they can go ahead and build their own. Um, now, yeah. Speaking of the platform, it looks like um, like L track, like you yeah. might see in a cargo plane yeah. or something like that, right? And so you've got that in the floor and the walls. Is that like rated to for pull out? Like yeah. if I wanted to mount a car seat or something? To yeah, work? exactly. So everything is all pull tested. So for safety, so when we go into the van, you'll see an actual an a, a extra seat in there. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, now we could have multiple seats. You know, take the kids out to Disney for the week or go um, go camping. You know, use it um, as a you know like a, as a passenger van in, right. in some aspects, but then go camping on the weekend. So it's just a really cool van and then everything is all safety and pull tested at our facility in uh, Forest City. And what about, uh, what about plumbing? Any plumbing in there? There isn't true plumbing. So there's no wi uh, plumbing wired through. There no is black a, tank. There is no black tank. There's right. no gray tank. There's no fresh water tank. Well, we're going to see some small little things that are in there that you could use it as a fresh water tank. Um, basically like a little small spigot and we'll show you that inside. But there is a porta potty on board uh, just in case if you needed to use the bathroom. Okay, so, and then overhead storage, I've seen these these bags. Yeah. Are those movable anywhere yes. you want to put them? Yes, everything in the coach is actually removable. They can move anywhere you want to go. So, um, and a few things that I've heard is how much weight could those things hold? Because that's a big thing for our customers. Right. Um, it's like 11,000 yeah. pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I think the bags, we've actually tested at about 100 pounds and actually it didn't fall off. So it's kind yeah. of a big thing to point out that um, a lot of weight could fit go into those bags. I will obviously don't think 100 pounds of stuff will fit in those bags, right. but at least it's retested at, at our facility. Okay. And then speaking of, of 
capacity for like the, the rig as a whole. This is built on what, which is that the long extended wheelbase sprinter? Yeah, so it's 177 inch wheelbase. So okay. it's a little bit longer than our Revel product or you know, a little bit shorter than our Era. Um, so right in the middle, um, it's just under 23 feet. It's like 2211, I so believe. Kind of like, what, like a, what a bolt or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly, that same chassis. Um, and then what's awesome is, is that of course, the experience of a Mercedes chassis. Totally different, right? You know, the safety features, but also that this unit will come in a two-wheel drive, but also for an option for a four-wheel drive. Okay. And so with, but uh, like the four-wheel drive, and especially like the, the dual rear wheel, mm -hmm. I mean, you could, that's a, an 11,000 something yes. pound, so you could like help your buddies move. Yeah, that, and that's great. That's, that's a great point because I look at this as like, you know, hey, um, I may be a plumber or a carpenter throughout the week, but you know, maybe I need to help my butt, my buddy, move a refrigerator, or right. you know, I could take, I could remove all of the, I could move, remove could the load bed. pallets into yeah, it, really. Yeah, I could put pallets, I could put all kinds of stuff, a refrigerator. You know, I think of a washer and dryer. So there's a lot of really cool modularity and versatility with this coach. Okay, and last question I got for sure. you is the uh, the windows and the window coverings. Are those standard and standard positions, or are you gonna? Those are all standard and standard positions. So the windows, of course, since we buy our chassis, we uh, are you know buy. The, the cargo vans, we basically cut our holes out and we'll have our own windows and then yeah, we'll add our own little touches of uh, our coverings and our blinds on the inside of the coach. Okay, and if people wanted additional accessories, like you mentioned extra seats, yeah. or if they wanted like another counter or yeah. storage module, where would they, how would they get those? Um, they can actually go to Adventure Wagon um, on their website and they'll have a bunch of accessories that they can go ahead and purchase from second hand. Um, they, they're pretty awesome. We had them here all week and just having conversations and yeah, they are uh, expanding their business and to continue on adding more accessories um, it's pretty cool because I've actually seen like you know V-shaped beds or twin beds. Um, like, you could add a like a, a yeah like a bow, or you could have like um, like bunk beds with the different ones. So there's so many different things that Adventure Wagon offers. Okay, and then your tracks. I'm assuming Adventure Wagon has some sort of standard spacing, and then your tracks are all set to that standard spacing. So that's any correct. of their accessories will just bolt right yeah, in. Yep, that's exactly it. So basically, we'll just go right on your L tracks, just like a normal, uh, just like any other of our products. Um, very easy to use, and is it's probably not exactly toolless. I mean, if you're putting in a seat, you'd want to bolt it down yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's easy enough that any DIY or home exactly. build kind of guy could handle anything like that. Exactly. If, you know, it, it's, again, it's just making it easy for our customers. Have, don't have to jump through all those hurdles where we can be able to, basically, we give the coloring book to our customers and right. they could paint the color, they could pick the colors of what they want to color in that coloring book. And so then if they wanted something extra, like like an air conditioner on the roof or something, that's on them. Yeah. They could figure that out. Yeah. There's nothing that prevents them from doing that. Exactly. They'd have to run a cord maybe to the power station inside. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Exactly. Well, hey, this has been uh, super informative and it's an interesting direction like for, for somebody who maybe wanted to build one themselves yeah. but didn't know if they quite had what it took to get it all built out. So I think this is a really cool option for awesome. people. Thanks for showing this. Dave. No worries, brother. My no pleasure. Bye now.